welcome back to our channel as you can tell i'm not in our usual spot i'm currently in hong kong we got here last night we didn't really do much we just went and sorted our sim cards out got some dinner and then got a drink at the bar near us and then went to bed but me and jack literally couldn't sleep we only had about to be fair i think we managed to get like six hours sleep in the end but it was like 4 a.m and we were just wide awake but yeah today we're gonna go and explore we're only here for three nights i didn't actually realize that the weather wasn't gonna be that nice it's currently like a little bit cloudy and i think it's only like 16 degrees but it's like rainy and stuff um and i didn't really pack for that sort of weather but this is what i'm wearing i'm so glad i packed these linen trousers because i've just thrown these on with this top from primark but i did a room tour last night so i'll put that in now and show you what the room looks like we stayed at the grand harbour hotel and this is our room you come in and to the left you've got the toilet shower oh my god have you seen the shower head no. It's actually oh, a big one. The rainfall one. It's like a walk-in oh, shower. Oof. And then obviously the sink, mirror, and then you come round and this is like the main part of the room with the bed. Look how big that bed is. <laughs> is it comfy? Uh yeah. <laughs> it's always hard. hard. <laughs> oh, <my luggage. laughs> Our luggage just turned up. Then we've got like a little sofa area, a seat, and then look at the view. I need to turn the lights off. Look at this view from our window. We've got a harbour view. But how unreal is that? I can't wait to see what it looks like in the morning. This is the view from out of our window during the day. The only thing is, it's a bit misty. Like imagine if we had blue skies. That would look so nice, but... It's such a shame, that. It is really cool waking up to this. This is Jack's OOTD. First one of the holiday. <laughs> what are you wearing? Natural Arts cap. Yeah. Dead hoodie. Um, pleated trousers from, I think he's a Boo Boo Man. I think they are. And then some Travis Scott shorter ones. Woo, let's go. I've just put a jumper on because otherwise I'm going to be cold. But yeah, let's go and explore. Bagels. Cold. Bagels. And get a bagel. <laughs> <laughs> This is our hotel. We're on the 26th floor. So you have to go up two lifts, but this hotel is actually unreal. Going down. This is the lobby area. It's actually massive. We're just walking into the main area. And this is our walk. How nice does it look? Well, if it wasn't cloudy and misty, but we're not gonna talk about that. I think we're walking towards like this bit here, but that bit over there's Causeway Bay, um, Hong Kong Island. We looked up breakfast places online and we came across Brick Lane and it's probably the most English place we could have come to but we really wanted a breakfast like this. It's really nice in here. I went for scrambled egg, sausage, beans and hash brown and then Jack got the full English with everything and then we got an orange juice how good does that scrambled egg look? Just walk into the K11 shopping centre and museum. We're gonna have a look round. The sun's actually coming out and it's warmer. <laughs> so nice. Look at the inside of this shopping centre. How unreal is this? I've actually never seen a shopping centre like it. They've got all the designer shops in here. This is so sick. We carried on walking, We're just exploring round, and there's so many designer shops Dior, Chanel, we've got Louis Vuitton and Fendi over there. Literally, everywhere we walk, there's a designer shop. Guys, right, we're on the ferry, we're going to Hong Kong Island. It only costs us 50p. How long does it take? 10 minutes. 10 minutes. Let's go. I'm scared. Me too. just come down the Tung Avenue. How cool is this? It's kind of reminding me of Chinatown in London. They've got all these like lanterns down the whole street. We've just come down this street with like a market. We've got loads of shops. We're selling bags. Oh, a wig shop. 
Oh, look at these flowers. Let's see if Jack will buy me any. <laughs> Is it Valentine's? I don't think so. <laughs> you dick. <laughs> oh, look at them. Sliders. What? Them sliders were nice. They were household shit. Yeah. <laughs> We like markets with like fake stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Look at the trams that they have here. They're so small. Everyone's different. They're all different colours. Guys, we've just got to Times Square. We're trying to find the bit with like all the billboards and everything, but this is so cool. I think there might be a shopping centre here, so we're gonna go have a look. We've just come to this place in Times Square. I think it's called Java Java. I'm gonna get an egg waffle. I got the plain egg waffle with Nutella. It was only £3, but these waffles originated from Hong Kong, so I thought I need to try one. I've just got my egg waffle, it's got Nutella on it, it looks so good. It just tastes like a waffle, but in a bubble. <laughs> it's very good though. I've just got on a tram to go to the Victoria Peak. Is it called Victoria Peak? Yeah, there is Victoria Peak for a viral tram. Oh yeah, we're going, we're going to go up this like tram, um, see it in the day and see it at night. But yeah, we just got on one of those trams. I think it's like a 20 minute journey and it's only 30p each. There's like single seats, we have to sit separately. Getting on the Victoria Peak tram, going up to see the view. And then I think we're going to come back down when it's dark so we can see the view when it's light and at night. We've just got to get in this queue. We've just got up to the sky terrace and we literally can't see anything because it's so misty. Normally you'd be able to see all the high-rise buildings, the sea, and there's nothing. Yeah. This is the view that we should see. Re expectation, um, this reality. This is the reality. <laughs> <laughs> we've just come to the I bar. It's like a rooftop bar, but we're not sitting outside because it's too wet and misty. Um, so we just got a drink inside. I got a vodka lemonade, and then Jack got a beer. Guys, you come to Jolly Bees. It's a fast food restaurant. Basically, like mixed between McDonald's and KFC. We've got chicken, mashed potato, burgers, burgers, hot dog, chips, mushroom rice. Apparently it's really good and there was a massive queue so I reckon it's quite popular. £2. For a hot dog here. Yeah. Right. £2. <laughs> The club. Huh? <laughs> We've got the club on. Oh yeah. <laughs> no messing, babe. Oh my god, they've got a pot of gravy. I always get gravy from KFC. Nothing. Is it nice? <laughs> Not really. <laughs> you can get a glove. So obviously you're eating like the chicken. <laughs> Should I put it on? Yeah. Oh yeah. I've got my drumstick. <laughs> What a glove on. And the gravy. I feel it. Yeah, it's a good one, isn't it? It's quite different, of course. Mmm. Mmm. Great. It's pretty good. Do you say that? Let's try the mashed potato. Mmm. Good? Yeah, but it's cold. You're joking. No, it's what the mushroom rice looks like. What the fuck is that? What on earth is that? I wonder if the Jolly Bees is the same in the Philippines. Mmm. Same. Mm. <laughs> oh, right, yeah, thanks. Nice. Like sticky rice. What would you rate Jolly Bees? I'll give it. Seven? It's not the best, yeah, not the best. Six, one in the seven. I'll say seven. I think if it was warmer, yeah. it would actually be nicer. Oh wait, I'll chicken bite. That's why. 
If that chicken was warmer, that would be so much nicer. It's going to be a bit weird. <laughs> I don't like this. We had some chicken bites and I had this weird like... Oh, they were good as fuck. Jack thought there was cheese inside and then we <laughs> realised it was just like this like goo thing. Right, come on, let's go. And you had to spill it out. Yeah, I'm feeling a bit unwell now. We did a TikTok, so if you want to see it, then go over to our TikTok. <laughs> we just went to 7-Eleven, got some Lay's these which look like Mikado's um, and then we've got some beers we've got Blue Girl which I think is like their yeah. local oh, beer and then we've got Sapporo we're gonna play some games and have some drinks just in the room a little setup here we're gonna sit on this sofa yeah just chill in the hotel for a bit we're gonna do a beer test and try the Blue Girl your face in the crowd Never thought that I would see you tonight We lock eyes and you smile Every single memory comes back to life Good morning! Morning! Day two in Hong Kong Second full day in Quite misty again, but we checked the weather and it's meant to be sunny at like two. But last night we woke up again at four in the morning and then couldn't get back to sleep. But luckily we managed to get back to sleep. It wasn't too long, was it? No. Um, but we're going to go to the gym this morning and then get something to eat and if it clears up then go to Sky 100 view deck because um, obviously we didn't get a great view yesterday. Every shit now that we won't. Yeah, it all depends on the weather really. We're going to force ourselves to go to the gym because I want to see what the gym's done. We're ready. We're in our gym outfits. We've are... Uh, <laughs> the little hotel gave us these little... Known waters. I hope it's water. But yeah, let's do this. changed into my trousers that I wore to the airport because I don't have any other warm clothes with me these are the only trousers that I bought and then I'm just gonna put my hoodie on and um, but we're gonna go and get some lunch I think we might go and get a subway because we didn't actually realize they have subway here so now we really want it I think we're gonna go there get a subway if the weather does clear up we'll do something but if not we're not really that bothered. We literally did 30,000 steps yesterday and we did like basically everything we wanted to do in one day. Yeah, we're gonna get some lunch. Shit doesn't really give us much to really want to go and do either. No, I'm literally starving, so let's go get some food. We've got our subway. We both said we were gonna go for something different and I've gone for turkey breast. <laughs> but um, they didn't really have much different. Um, but I have added jalapeno cheese sauce which looks so good um, and then I've never had this bread before it's like a parmesan bread give us a taste test yeah. we've just come out for dinner we've come to a restaurant called Flame I've just ordered a lychee cocktail it's got vodka, pineapple juice and lychee syrup in. I don't even know lychee if I like puree. lychee. I think that's a lychee on top and it looks freaking weird. Jack's gone for a beer, of course. When does he not? <laughs> We've ordered pizza and pasta. Very cultural of us. I'm gonna try this cocktail. Oh, I know what lychee is now. I actually quite like it. It's, it's nice. a bit flowery. Oh, 
You know what? That is fucking pain. Not really my type of flavour, but like, yeah. that is nice. I think it's sweet. <laughs> I mean, well, compared to last night's drinks. To be fair, I was gonna say without the lychee, I would like it, but then that would be a vodka pineapple, yeah. and then that vodka. Yeah. <laughs> and it's fifty percent off alcoholic drinks Monday to Sunday. So we get fucked up. This was only four pounds. Cheers. Cheers. We got some chicken salted chips. I've never had chicken salted chips before. And they're actually really good. Me and Jack are sharing, so we've got a chicken pesto linguine, which looks so good, and this smells unreal. We're just waiting for the pizza to come out. Huh? That is so good. It's so good. Look at this carbonara pizza. It's got loads of mini eggs on, and then I'm guessing that's like pancetta. pancetta. No, yeah, pancetta. Um, ricotta. Yum. Just left the hotel. Just wanted to show you this massive boat. Just like placed in the it? middle of the street. Yeah, what is it? A shopping thing? Yeah, we're gonna go have a look. This is what all the apartments look like in Hong Kong. They hang all their washing outside the window. Yeah, there's actually so many of these all around Hong Kong. We're just walking to a shop called Fortress. We're off to look at the drones. The question is, will we buy one? We fly more. These are the more. drones that we're looking at, the DJI Mini. We want the DJI Mini 2. So we're hoping that they've got it. Got the goods. The drone is secured. We're going to be able to get really good footage in Philippines and Thailand. Fingers crossed. Hopefully, if we can actually and, use it. Unless we crash in the sea oh, after one God, news. Oh, God, so. About to get some snacks for the room. By the way, I'm filming on my phone because my camera died. That's 90p for that. That's welcome, that's, no? Yeah, that's good. In 7-Eleven, they don't really have like normal chocolate. Kit Kat. m and Krispies, well, Snickers, my chips fave. Oh, yeah, chips or I might get the Oreo cho do you know what chocolate. Do Oreo. That, if they had the white chocolate one. Oh, I do love those. I want to get some sweets that you can't get in England, though. Jack loving the tunes. <laughs> what? Lime flavoured crisps, roasted garlic oyster flavour, cucumber flavour. Oh, disgusting. Oh my god, that is so weird. Honey coloured chocolate. Are you sure, mate? Sorry, they're coming with us. I think these look cool. I don't know what that is in a cone, but they look nice. We got these last night, but they tasted like dark chocolate. Almond crushed one. Or strawberry. Yeah, they would be nice. Didn't we get these in um, Kotal? Remember? Last moments walking around the streets of Hong Kong. Oh yeah. We leave tomorrow morning, so this is our last night. Sad, but excited to see what the Philippines has in store. Yeah, I'm so excited for the Philippines. Look out for those vlogs because I reckon they're going to be good and we're going to have our drone footage. Oh god. Fingers crossed. <laughs>